What's going on, everybody? Me and Jersey are here shooting another video. A common question I get asked, I get asked this all the time. Hey, Matt, we have corporate-issued iOS devices, corporate-issued Android devices. Do I have to factory reset these devices in order to get them enrolled in your MDM Mass 360? You don't have to factory reset devices if they're corporate issued to get them enrolled into an MDM. However, it's always, always the recommendation to do that. Here's why. If you don't, and you're handing out a corporate issued iOS device, for example, to an employee, and you enroll that device the same way you would enroll a BYOD, a personal device, so it's not supervised, that device thinks it belongs to that employee. It belongs to Matt, Tom, Stephanie. It doesn't think it belongs to the organization. And because it doesn't think it belongs to the organization, the level of control and security you have over that device is not all that strict. There's not a lot of options from a policy perspective. The recommendation is always, always get them factory reset for iOS devices, get them enrolled in Apple Business Manager. For Android, get them enrolled in Zero Touch or KME with Mass360. So those devices recognize they belong to XYZ organization. And because they belong to XYZ organization and not the employee, the amount of control and security you have over that device is much stronger. You can be much more strict. If factor resetting is an issue, for you folks, and sometimes it is, most of the time it isn't, and most of the time companies will move forward with a factory reset. It's only come up a couple times where this was a showstopper. You can enroll them the BYOD route. Obviously, you're not going to have the same level of control and security. It's more of a reactive approach than a proactive approach. But what a lot of companies will do if this is a showstopper is upon a device refresh, that's when they're going to go the supervisor route for iPhones and the DL route, device owner route for their Android devices. So there are some workarounds. The recommendations always go the factory reset route. These devices belong to you. They don't belong to the employee. And because of that, factory reset needs to happen. So you have the level of control and security you need and want over these devices because they belong to your company, not the employee. Jersey, what do you think? Do you think we did a good job of that video? I think it was a decent job. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Any other questions around this, let me know in the comment section, and we will make videos answering those questions. Go Birds!